Rosie. And I'm Tony. We're with KC Board Gamers. Today we're going to review a game of Giro Galapolo by Rio Grande Games, authored by Jurgen P. K. Grunau. Um, we'll go over the components, gameplay, and then our thoughts about the game. Alright, components consist of five different horses with the riders. There's five obstacles. Each player gets a deck of cards with numbers one through six on them. And then of course you have the game board. Alright, now we'll cover gameplay. The first thing you do is each person that's playing will pick one of these um, obstacles, place it on the board. They cannot be next to each other, at least it has to be one space apart one in each section first before you put another one in there All right, the, the game starts in with every player picking one of their cards and keeping a secret from everybody else once everybody has a card face down in front of them everybody turns it over at the same time the person with the lowest number goes first so he would go one then the next lowest person goes and the next person goes now once you play a card, the card's out of play for that turn or for the, until all the other cards have been played and right after that then everybody else would pick a card again right, in this case the lowest card goes first, I would jump on Rosie and because I jumped on her, only one horse can be in a space, she would go back and then she would move. Okay, and if you land on a, um, an obstacle, which there's some natural obstacles on the game, you've got the pond here, the stream here, the two spots there, and then of course the ones we put randomly on the game. If you happen to land on one of those, you do not move. So you, you lose that card you play and you do not move um, that turn. And also like that you saw there, right, when I jumped on Rosie, she moved back. If there's several horses lined up when that happens, for example, she goes back to the next open space. So she would go all the way back to the end of the line in this case. And that's pretty much it for the game. Oh, one other thing. Is if more than one horse crosses the finish line in that same turn of cards, it's whoever has got the farthest down the track past the finish line that would win the game. All right, our conclusions of the game. It's a relatively simple game to play. There's a little bit of cutthroat in the game because you can land on people and knock them back. Um, it does have a problem with a runaway leader, but for a family game for with small kids, it's, it's an enjoyable game. It has good game components. And we seem to have enjoyed playing it. And it, it is more enjoyable with more players than, than the minimum. So it's more enjoyable with five players than it is with two or three. And just because you have more chance to jump on people or get jumped upon and have your plans ruined. Um, what do you think about the game, Rosie? I think it's a strategy game. Like, when you people jump on you have to go back, I think it's you know, really fun. I like it. Okay, thank you for watching KC Board Gamers. Hopefully we'll have more reviews in the future and won't be as long between reviews. Wanna say bye to mommy? Bye mommy.